What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I thought we'd do kind of a little bit of a different video. I wanted to go over the um, everyday carry items that I usually carry in my pocket. Some of these I don't necessarily carry every day, but they're in my rotation to use uh, depending on the day on a daily basis. But most of them I do use on a daily ba basis to some degree or another. Now before we jump into that and see what's in my pockets, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below and ring that bell will get my uh, videos to you more easily. Now let's go ahead and jump into the crap that I carry on my person or in my pockets every day. Okay, so first up is actually uh, two items that you guys usually see me wearing in all my videos is actually the uh, watch that I wear and the ring that I wear. Now there's really no emotional or significant value between uh, attached to these two things i just always like the look of a ring so i wear one on my um middle finger and if you guys are wondering why i do wear it on my middle finger just because to me it seems more balanced than uh wearing it on my index finger or my index finger or my uh actual ring finger and i wear it on my right hand because i'm not married obviously now the other thing is my watch this is the uh citizen pro master uh diver with the uh, blue bezel. They also have a titanium version of this with a black uh, bezel and face. I like the blue best, so I picked that one. Uh, I, I got this, I think, for like 280 on sale at Jared's. Um, I got them backwards. You can usually get it on sale. I think the uh, regular retail price is like 350 for this, but usually you find them on sale for a lot less than that. So if you guys are looking for... The uh, Citizen Pro Master Diver that I usually do wear. Look around for deals because even if they have it marked as the full price at the time that you look at it, wait like a week or two, they'll, it'll probably go on sale. Usually anytime I see it, it's very rarely selling for its full price. Next are my uh, wallet, which you have the uh, Ridge Wallet in the uh, Navy uh, Aluminum. I've had this for a couple years now and I love it. It's just a minimalistic wallet. You can get it with a money clip or a cash strap. I have the money clip. And these uh, plates actually come off, so you can change it out or you can just use it as a card case. I've had this for, I think, uh, three years now, two, three years, and it's uh, held up pretty well. You can see there's minimal scratching on it. And I love that it just keeps everything nice and compact, and I can just toss it in a jacket pocket or a front pocket, and it just doesn't make uh, any lines or anything. Very clean look for your person. And after that, I have my keys, which I carry on a KeySmart, the blue aluminum. And... For those of you who don't know, I actually don't drive, so it freaks me out too, so I don't drive. But I have uh, two keys on here, building key and my apartment key, and then I actually keep a bottle opener on this also. The cool part about the key smarts is that you can buy it, and uh, I think you can do up to like 10 keys on the regular one or something like that. Then they have a bunch of little tools and attachments you can get to add onto it, like the bottle opener, which comes in handy to have. Or like little knife, flashlight, USB drive. They have, uh, I think, about a dozen options for tools on their site for the key smarts. Next is the uh, Fisher uh, Space Pen Bullet. I actually got this um, because I got tired of whenever I would go out to like the bar out to dinner. Every time I'd go to sign the check, the pen that uh, I would get to sign with nine times out of ten was uh, out of ink, so it never worked. So I actually wanted just a little uh, pen that I can carry that's not going to take up much room on my person so that I can sign my check and all that stuff whenever I go out to eat to the bar or if I just need to sign something or write something down whenever I'm out and about, I have an option to do that without it taking up too much room and I'm worrying about it breaking in my pocket. And the cool part about the space pens is they can like write on wet surfaces, upside down, right side up, whatever it may be, they can write pretty much on anything. If, if you get their ink refills, uh, I think that's the ink that's special for that. Uh, that's what's special about the ink. You can get a bunch of different colors, odd colors like teal and brown that you normally don't see for uh, ink pen as well. So next up is the uh, knife that I carry. I just like having it, not necessarily for uh, self-defense purposes. I guess I could use it for that if I want to, but uh, I don't use it for that. I just kind of use it to open stuff with. That's my primary thing for it or to cut something that I need to cut with. But it's handy to have, especially this little um, the size that this is. It's the Spyderco Delica 4. And I'll link below, this was actually a DLT exclusive uh, model with the uh, red, it's called Zome uh, handle on it. You see the red and black, which is what caught my eye for it. I guess this is, um, I think it's the handle itself is red and then scales actually is what uh, they're called, scales. 
uh, are red, and then uh, the black splotches are actually painted on there. It's called a Zomate. It's like a Japanese art form. But that really caught my eye. They had a um, camo-looking model that was going around that wasn't an exclusive model to a certain uh, website. And I really didn't care for the green and black on that, but the red really caught my eye. And this is a DLT trading exclusive. It's just a website that sells uh, knives. So I'll link that below if they still have any left available. I know whenever they do exclusives on that site, they're only available until the... They have a certain number made, then they uh, after they run out, they're done. You can't get the that model anymore. So if you guys are interested in this, if I can, I'll link it below. If not, I'll just link DLT site. They probably have some other kind of special uh, Spyderco model going on right now if they don't have this one available still. As for my regular carry, I can't show you the phone itself. I use an I carry an iPhone 12 for my phone, but I'm filming on it right now, so I can't show you the actual phone. But the, uh, I carry that in the phone case I have is this uh, Zizo case. It's just a little rugged case I found at a local uh, cricket store, actually. And it's uh, rubberized here, and it's got a little lip on it. When you have it on, it's hard to show you, and it's got a little kickstand. But I like that it's a little bit more rugged than just a thinner case than what I had on my um, last iPhone. So it's been pretty protective since I've got it. I've had it about a month and a half now, I think, at the most. But I do like this case, and they had uh, black and red also for the colors. Uh, I just like the blue. Okay, guys, so that does it for the stuff that I actually carry in my pockets and on my body on a regular basis. Now, these are some things that I don't necessarily carry on me, or they're things that I don't necessarily carry all the time, but I will um, carry. So whenever it's cold out, I like to uh, wear a scarf. I have a couple different colors. And that's the cool part about scarves is you can usually get them on sale pretty cheap. This one I got from Express. Uh, dark blue, if you guys can tell. And whenever it's a little bit chilly out, because I don't like to wear real heavy jackets, having a scarf is real handy. I can just toss it on and it adds a little bit of warmth to my um, t-shirt and uh, leather jacket. <laughs> so uh, I don't always wear a scarf, except for whenever it's like really cold out, then I'll wear one. But I do uh, usually carry a scarf on me if it is cold next are actually um i just started trying to wear these more often i just got these actually as the uh sunglasses whenever it's a uh, real sunny out i'll try and wear sunglasses now i've never been like a sunglasses person because i don't really like or glasses in general because i don't like anything on my actual face i'm actually supposed to wear eyeglasses but i don't because i don't like things on my face but i thought i'd try and start uh wearing sunglasses i had a subscriber uh Malin. He actually uh, said I would look good, and um, he thought I'd be able to pull off aviator sunglasses really well. So I figured I'd pick them up and try them, and I do like the look of them. So I'm trying to wear these whenever it's uh, more sunny out. I don't wear them all the time, but on sunnier days that we've been having lately, now that it's starting to warm up, I've been trying to wear um, sunglasses. And I picked these up there uh, from Foster Grants. They're the Sunday Drive model. So I liked them. I tried them on, and they fit well. So I tried to incorporate them into my... Uh, regular uh, everyday carry so last are uh, two items that you don't necessarily see as far as the actual item goes but you know they're there you can either smell them or you can tell by looking at the person's uh, feet and that is a uh, cologne now I've always had a cologne on hand um, I've tried to wear multiple ones but I always find the one that I really like and I stick to that until that runs out and I either rebuy it or I um, buy the same one again but I just got this one recently because I ran out it's called Versace Eros and I like the smell of it. It's a little bit sweeter. Uh, before I was wearing Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, Le Mal and Ultramel, I'd switch between those two, but they smelled very similar, so I just dropped down to the one after it ran out, the uh, Le Mal. Uh, the Ultramel and Le Mal were, the Ultramel was a little bit darker than the Le Mal, but they were very similar. But this has that sweetness like those two uh, colognes have. If you guys have uh, worn either of those uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier colognes, you know the sweetness. But it also has a freshness to it. So I like that it made it, with that freshness, it makes it a little bit more versatile for more situations. Especially since I just use one cologne. I like the idea of having a big cologne collection. But I only, I might buy one all the time. The rest either get given away to somebody or sold off or something. But I've been rocking the Versace Eros for about uh, two weeks now. And I'm really liking this one. And last is actually um, shoe care kit. So I can take care of my boots and keep them uh, shined and looking good. Now I'm incorporating this into an everyday carry because even though you don't actually carry the kit uh, with you, 
you want one so that you can make your uh, footwear look good that you're wearing every day. Now, whether you're wearing, let me put this down here, <laughs> make it a little bit easier. So whether you're wearing, you know, cowboy boots, dress shoes, or sneakers, you should have some type of a shoe care kit in your arsenal. Because whenever people do meet you, especially if you're uh, flirting with a girl or a guy, whatever you're into, uh, whatever's fine. But uh, if you're flirting with somebody, one of the first things that they do notice, tend to notice, is actually uh, footwear. And it's not going to matter so much the type of footwear you have on, whether it's boots, dress shoes, or sneakers. It's going to matter if they're clean, well-kept, and in good condition. And that's what's going to leave an impression on people. So you guys definitely want to incorporate a, a shoe care kit into your... Uh, everyday uh, routine not that you have to do it every day but you do want to uh, use it whenever your shoes get a little bit uh, dirty and messed up you want to keep them cleaned up and I will say this um, don't be afraid to get your shoes whether it's boots dress shoes sneakers don't be afraid to get them dirty yes they were made to get dirty um, they're going to get dirty you cannot help that but they're not made to stay dirty and if you don't wear them to do it to impress other people at least clean up your shoes for the sake of cleaning up the footwear because it will make your footwear last a lot longer because if you leave dirt and grime sitting on them it's going to eventually wear holes into uh, excuse me into the material oh wait hold on i forgot two items that i also have in my um everyday carry and that's uh face mask everybody's wearing one of these now anymore um i just get a new one every uh every so often just to change it up this one i like because it had uh kind of reminds me of like the sky or clouds and my vape. Yes, I do vape. Uh, I don't really do it too often. Too often in my videos, but um, I do vape. Um, just because I used it to quit smoking. I don't think I actually used it to quit smoking. I just liked it better than smoking, so I just stuck with this. Uh, if you guys were wondering, this is the uh, Aegis Boost. For those of you guys who vape or want to start vaping to quit smoking. And the juice I'm running right now is the Berg. It's just the regular... Um, Berg, it's not the uh, menthol version. It tastes like uh, blue slushy. I like it. Okay, guys, so that's it. That's all my stuff that I carry on my person, in my pockets, all my crap that I use on a daily basis. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. If you guys are interested in any of the stuff that I did show in the video that I haven't done reviews on in the past, comment below and I'll do a review on it if you guys are interested in uh, some of the things like the knife or the... Uh, vape that I have in here pretty much anything if you uh haven't seen me do a review on it on the channel yet I know some of the stuff I have done reviews on so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed have a great day and have a happy Easter I hope you guys uh spend your day tomorrow with uh the people that you care about um whether it's friends family whatever it may be I hope you guys have a great Easter tomorrow I'll see you in the next one take care